viewers you are welcome to kotak engineering services today we are going to demonstrate to you on how to replace a defective shaft seal but before we do that i would like to explain to you the purpose of the shaft seal shaft seal prevent the escape of a fluid from a rotating shaft and also death entering into the shaft so as you can see we are dismantled the pump from the motor. You know, the pump is connected by four common boots, which you have to lose or dismantle before you get access to the shaft seal. And that's what we are doing. We are losing the boots, the four boots. We've taken two and we are taking the other one too okay so gradually we are taking them out so that we can get access to the the dumbbell shaft seal okay so we've taken two and we are taking the other one too but there is a common arrow here that will guide you when you are fixing the pump back after the, your maintenance that will guide you whether you are fixing in to the right direction or not so we are losing them we are losing the boat gradually we'll get there okay so now we have done we are done so here is the 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 pump and then the motor okay so there is a, a coupling a plastic coupling so that's a coupling so we take it off we take the coupling off and then this is the this is the motor and this is the pump now we have to get access to the shaft seal so you have to lose the shaft seal cover and that's what we are doing we are losing the shaft seal cover okay it is also connected by four common allen boots so we are using allen key to lose them okay so that's what we are doing so Gradually we we'll get there and they are loose. But before you get before you get them totally loose, you have to take off the coupling flange. And, and it is also connected by an Allen key. Allen key boot. And that's what we are losing. Okay, and it is loose. Okay. So now, we are trying to get it, get rid of the, the flange face. So, we are done with the flange. Now, we we'll come back and totally lose the Allen key boot. Okay. So that we can take off the shaft seal cover. Okay. So we are taking them off the boots, the Allen key boots. Okay. So there yeah, are four boots. They are there. Okay. So then we come back to the, the shaft seal. But there's a key, a shaft key which is stuck to the shaft so we have to take it off first by using a pliers because it is stuck so you have to use a pliers to take it off gently slowly okay and it is off so there is it's a key a shaft key a simple shaft just a small one 
okay so we come back to the cover gently slowly you take off the shaft so cover okay this is how it looks like you put it down then you get rid of the defective shaft so okay here we are you have taken it off Yeah, here is a shaft of the, the set of a seal. It comprises of a, a spring, a sleeve, and then a washer with a rubber seal. Okay. So the next thing is to carry out the thorough clean. Okay. And that's what we are doing. So that's what we are doing. We are cleaning the shaft and then the slot of the shaft seal. Okay, yeah, and it is done. So this is the new shaft seal we are going to replace. Here is it, the spring, okay, the spring and then the sleeve, okay. So we are going to fix it, okay. But remember, this is a new shaft seal, so it's not easy to get it fixed. You need to take your time and press it slowly and gradually. It will, it will stack. Okay, well, that's what we are doing. Push it slowly. Take your time. Okay. Okay okay and it is fixed okay so the next thing is to place the washer the washer with a rubber seal around the edge okay okay so here is it here is a washer okay it's a rubber seal around the neck, the edge. Okay. So we fix it. Okay. Yeah, so it is done. So the next thing is to fix the shaft seal cover. The shaft seal cover. So you ensure that the Allen key both slot align with the one on the on the on the pump okay and then tight it slowly with free hand so here use a free hand to tight okay free hand tighten to the all the four boots okay Make sure you hold it firmly while you tie it with your free hand. Okay, so that's what we are doing. So that's what we are doing. Yeah, remaining one, and we are almost done. That is it. Okay, so gradually we get there. Tighten so free hand. We are done with the free hand. So now we tie it with the Allen key. We tie it firmly with the Allen key. Okay, and that's what we are doing. Make sure you tie them firmly. Okay, for the purpose is to prevent the escape of the fluid. So you ensure that you tie them firmly and that's what we are doing yeah okay so here we are we are doing final tightening to ensure that there will be no escape of fluid okay okay so that's what we are doing the final tightening yeah and it is done 
Okay. So the next thing we have to do is to fix the key. The shaft key to the slot on the shaft. Okay. But before we get it stuck, we need to knock it a little bit. So that's what we are doing. We knock it a bit to get it stuck. All right. So you knock it. All right. Yeah, and it is stuck. Now you turn it. And then try to fix your flange. Okay, your coupling flange. You turn it to align with the shaft key. All right. Let it align with the slot of the shaft key. Okay. Ah, and it is done. Just simple as that. So now to get it firmly tight, there is allen key boot on the flange. You tight it firmly to the shaft. Okay. Yeah. And that's what we are doing. Yeah. Okay. We finally tight it firmly. And it is done. Yeah. Yeah. So we are done. Viewers, thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page.